straight up, and the match at hand is between the Unicorns of Love and Rockat. We'll see if they can blast off at the speed of light. First in, let's dial in on the Pink Ponies of Passion, also known as the Unicorns of Love. It is Vizichachi, Kikis, Power of Evil, Vardex, Hillisung, and Sheepy, their coach. I am very excited to get the Cast of the Unicorns of Love game because it's been a long while for me. You know, yesterday we saw them return to form and uh, I like to say I've got I've had the pleasure of casting so many of their different compositions. I'm wondering what they've got for us today. Yeah, I hope it's more of the Casio and less of the Cog. It's a little more exciting, and the team they're going to be firing at on the other side of the rift is, of course, Rocket. With Steve, Steve, Steve up top, Giancos in the jungle, Nuke Duck in the mid, Warlight and Vanda the AD carry and support, and of course Yamato Cannon helping them out through picks and bands. Let's talk a little bit about Unicorns of Love. I obviously really enjoyed them returning to Cassio. Up here. Yesterday, there were three kills to two at 15 minutes. It's not a massive improvement over their average of one and four from week one, but what happened after, it was the huge acceleration as they just snowballed ahead. Yeah, for sure. They completely outclassed uh, Copenhagen Wolves, but you, uh, with that game, the one thing I want to look at is <laughs> the pick and ban phase, because uh, Unicorns just got everything they wanted. They got the, the rise that they'd been practicing, they got the better jungle matchup with Gragas into Evelyn, and they got Cassiopeia into Cassidin. Uh, Wolves just did not play Play around the strengths of Unicorns of Love in the pick and ban phase. I mean, quite frankly, you're never going to outpick or Unicorns of Love. You have to beat them in the game, and the Wolves didn't do that either. No, they definitely did not. Picks and bans is something that Rocket will have a little bit of a better time, I feel, because Yamato has consistently shown he can help the team with picks and bans and strategies. We'll see what he can do with Rocket today, because they've not only got a difficult task ahead of them trying to figure out where Unicorns are going to go, but it's also adapting on the fly. And adapting on the fly is something that Rockat has maybe struggled with previously, but one thing that's for certain was yesterday, we actually saw Yankos looking a lot like he used to with the first Bloodmaster, uh, actually was unkilled in yesterday's game. Uh, it, when you saw it, yeah, 4 0 14, that was uh, what I was thinking about against Fnatic, which is a big, big statement for a jungler against the likes of Rainover to not die and have a lot of impact in the game. You also saw Woolite there. He played the Urgot. Didn't really seem to matter that he was getting caught out of position. We saw that in the uh, promotion tournament as well, where uh, Rockat played Urgot on Woolite as well. So, I mean, it's a pick that's working out for them, but. Uh, it's impressive. It was against Fnatic. I'm exactly. very impressed by Rockout's start Agreed. of the game. We'll touch a little bit more on how well Rockout played in the mid-game in a moment, but there's only nine weeks in the split, and Yankos knows the importance of using the week number one to feel out new roster's strengths and weaknesses, and then importantly, adapt. Well, I think week one is important just because um, when you change a player, you see how well the split can go, and then winning uh, makes you like play better, like makes you motivated. Losing makes like shows you that you have still a lot to do if you want to qualify for playoffs and then achieve something. It's basically more about like your mindset, like after first week, not about the, the score itself. Interesting comment as we're about to load into picks and bands. It's about the mindset more so than the score itself. And for Rocket, they showed up in the mid game against Fnatic. They pushed some team fights very well and they punished Fnatic being out of position. Unicorns are a team that have made mistakes in the past, are not accustomed to like flawless games. So maybe this is a way for Rocket to get their foot in the door and try to get an advantage. Yeah, we've seen both sides of the coin from the Unicorns. So uh, I, I just, I'm so looking forward to this picks and bands phase because both teams.